Now I'm sure people are wondering, Ooh, what does he carry in his backpack? Well, maybe you're not wondering that, but I'm going to show you anyway, so ha! Alright, I'm not really going to show you much of the backpack, but let me show you at least what kind it is. Oh, sure my. Um, this is a Samsonite. Um, this is actually the same company that made my camera case. Um, just a, I don't know, generic thing. I once had a Swiss backpack. I don't know if it was actually literally a Victorinox backpack or not, if they even make backpacks, but, um, that thing, the, I think, I got it last year for my freshman year of high school, and it broke. Probably, like, halfway into the first semester, which really sucked. It had a nice Swiss emblem on it, you know, the Victorinox logo on it, or at least the, you know, the Swiss symbol, um, but I think it broke like halfway through the first semester. I think that actually what actually happened was one of the um, shoulder straps on the back broke off. Or, like literally it broke. That's no good. So it probably wasn't a Victorinox. <laughs> at least I would hope. I would hope. I don't even know if they make backpacks. Some people will probably laugh at me like, what? What you saying? Victorinox backpack? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Again, I don't know. I'm still. I'm just now getting into this kind of stuff. I mean, we'll see how long this interest lasts. Honestly. Anyway. I actually do need to put it back on, but I do generally, well here, I'll put this one up for now. Carabiner goes in this little strap there. I actually use this, and you might laugh. I do sometimes laugh at myself. I do carry a lunch bag on here, like one of those grocery bags full of lunch, uh, full of food for, you know, obviously eating lunch at school. I carry that on here because I need free hands, because you're going to see why in a minute. Sometimes when I'm in the hallway of school, we sometimes have Wi-Fi. Now I say we sometimes have Wi-Fi because sometimes it gets protected and sometimes it's available. Why? I'm not sure. But sometimes I want to be using this in one hand, and I'm carrying something else in my other hand all the time. So you will get into that here in just a bit, but that's why I should do that. Um, I did it last year, but I just thought it would be nice to have two free hands, but now I can't really have... I can only have at least one free hand, which is kind of an annoying, so... Anyway, I'm not going to really show you too much in here. Um, all I'm really going to show you is the uh, front pocket, which I'll start first. The rear pocket obviously has all my school stuff. And actually, I need to repopulate this, but generally what I'll carry in here is a pen. Like, ooh, is this actually something I should show? Uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Well, yeah, I'll sometimes just carry a pen. One of these, actually. It works fine, although I do want to get a Fisher Space Pen. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff I want right now. Fisher Space Pen looks cool. This all my, I believe, staples. Like, you can get it for, like, $15. That's excellent for, you know, a Fisher Pen. And then in my middle pocket, you might... I actually have only showed this in one of my videos. So let's actually come down back here. I carry... The Belkin Wave. The Belkin Cool Elevate Flow. I said wave because it's got a wave design. Awesome. I only use this at school. I don't... I re In fact, usually I leave my backpack in my in the car. Just because I'm lazy and don't want to get it out. But, um, you know, this thing has been through some pretty cold. Um, it got It's like below freezing temperatures. It works flawlessly. Very simple interior, though. All it really is is just a fan and some cabling. That's it. Um... Excellent, 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 excellent buy. I would highly recommend you get something like this. Um, it's it's just um, nice. And it, it, what it does, it really puts it up at a nice angle so you're not straining your neck because it's got this piece back here. I did a review on it, but, you know, once it's like that, it's got, it'll prop up at a nice angle. And I, my, the laptop usually sits here, and uh, I can't, I, there's, there's just not enough surface on the printer for this, but... You know, it really props it up at a nice angle, so I like that. I like that a lot. A cool a bit. So, that's that. that right there. I actually have taken this thing apart. It's really simple on the inside, like I've already said. Um, very easy to put back together, too. I'm not going to show you the... Well, I might see if there's anything of interest in the rear pocket, but... Um, yeah, there's nothing of interest. i got a binder and a math book. Who cares about that stuff, really? <laughs> And I will actually be changing here in about a week and a half, depending on when exams start, because there's a lot of snow in the forecast. But when we start second semester, I'll be getting rid of that math book and putting in a new, some new books. Um, we will see. All right, now the last thing I'm going to be showing you is actually something I need to work on here a little bit before I'm actually able to show it on camera, um, just because I don't want to uh, show it to you the way it is right now. All righty, I think I am good. Okay, the last thing I'm going to be showing you is 
this right here. As you can see, it looks like some giant bag. It's made by a company called, if I can, uh, I'm not blind, you guys, Higher Grounds, if you can even read that. Um, <clears throat> this is actually a laptop bag. This is what I carry my laptop in. The school laptop, alright? This bag was issued from the school, as well as the laptop. So, this bag, uh, Higher Grounds, I believe that website's highergrounds.com. Um, cheapo, cheapo, cheapo bag. I mean, you couldn't get a cheaper bag if you tried. Um, but, you know, you also got to keep in mind, they were ordering like thousands of these, okay? So, it's got to keep it cheap. Um, the laptops themselves are very expensive. They're, you know, it's, I don't know. Anyway, that's that. There's their logo right there. A little squiggle. I think it's cool, actually. Um, so, this is it it's right here. Uh, in this front pocket here, I keep papers, which I'm not going to open, but papers go in there. So, um, actually, some people in my school, the paper, papers are sticking out a lot. I actually, because, you know, there's a bit of, this pocket right here puts a bit of tension on the paper. So what I actually found is easier to do, and if anyone from my school is watching, pull this up while you're putting the papers in. Take your finger, pull this up. The papers tend to go in a lot easier. Or just empty this pocket out, you know, or just don't keep anything in that pocket. Um, but I do keep stuff in that pocket. Anyway, let me actually show you this pocket first. Um, so it's got a zipper right here. Actually, before I show you that, let me show you what's on the side here. Um, here's the handle. Very, actually, very nice handle. Although, um, yeah, it did come with a, uh, a, uh, a shoulder strap, which lots of people at my school use. I find it to be hideously uncomfortable, as do a lot of people. A lot of people have been agreed with me that it's very uncomfortable. Um, I would show you the shoulder strap if I could find. Actually, here it is. Right here. Now, this looks very well padded right there, but um, honestly, this is very uncomfortable. I really. Unless if this is the part that's supposed to rest on your shoulder, I'm just not sure. I just don't like this thing a lot. At all. It's got... Um... Some of those right there. Some little carabiners at the... I don't know if these are carabiners or what, but there's that. It's adjustable. Ooh, excuse me, it's adjustable. So if you, uh, make this as long or as short as you want to. With that adjustable strap there. So, that's nice. Um... That slides you can probably hear. I think it makes an awesome noise. But anyway, that's enough of the shoulder strap. I don't use it. Re really, I, I don't like using it. Some people actually have borrowed another shoulder strap from their friend who also doesn't use it. And they put... Bo that's a printer. Stop it. Alright, what they actually do, they take two shoulder straps. <sighs> Alright, shut up. Um, they take two uh, shoulder straps and they'll um, wear it like a backpack. So you can actually buy a separate backpack piece, but, you know, still. Oh, I was going to show you this uh, little thing I got going on here, this carabiner. This right here is excellent, this uh, thing right here. Um, so this is just a standard carabiner. This is actually a church carabiner. But right here is a little thing here from Case Logic. Sorry about how long this video is. I actually keep flash drives in here. This is a flash drive case. Um, I actually have two flash drives. This one is my personal one. This one is my school one. I've got all my assignments and stuff on this one. Everything related to school goes on here. Sometimes I'll throw some miscellaneous stuff on here because usually if I find something that... Oh, I kind of want to hold on to that. Like if I find a picture on the internet or something like... Well, that's kind of cool. I want to hold on to that. Um, usually I'll already have this one in here. And uh, I'll just pop it on the flash drive real quickly just because it's already in there. And I don't want to have to fumble around getting this one out. Um... This one's been getting a lot of use. As you can see, um, the lid, like, you know, it's, this one's definitely losing a lot of its integrity. Uh, right there, you can see, I've got it marked school, because it's my school flash drive. Um, so, that's nice. And I like how these are removable, um, because then you can kind of interchange and swip and swap and all that stuff. So, that's kind of cool. Anyway, that's that. Uh, this is like a $3 case if you're interested. This this little case here, $3. But I'd actually have to, this is a little, hold on. See this little thing right here? Um, it might be hard to see, sorry. Um, here's the receipt. I can use as a bit of a background. You can see actually it broke. So um, that was very cheaply made, so I just replaced it with this key, simple keyring. 
and uh, that's how that works and it's attached to the carabiner for quick and easy removal should I need to do that and uh, sorry about how uh, bad the contrast here is Ew, even with the paper there it's but you know that's that <clears throat> so let's zoom back out so you guys can so I can show you what I keep in the big top pocket okay so first of all you might be wondering what all this pink and duct tape stuff is first of all I would like to show you my duct tape roll while I was taping this up I wanted to keep those post-it notes over there. What that's actually covering up is a custom logo, which I don't want to show you guys. Not because it's um, you know, bad or anything, just because I don't want to put that kind of information out there. It's uh, basically uh, my school. That, uh, it's It has my school name on there. I just don't want to put that out there, so I'm sure you guys can understand that. Um, but what's going on here? I mean, it was doing this just now when I was taping that. In fact, if you look right here... Some of these bits of tape are very smooth, and then some of them have this big seam in the middle of them. That was the first one I took off, and it started doing that. It's ridiculous, and the, if I peel up a little bit here, if you look, this is kind of what I was dealing with, uh, having to peel it off. It's very hard to peel off now. Look at that. What? I've got a hole in there now. It's like, I don't know, something horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Actually, this is two separate pieces. Look, piece one, piece two, you see that right there? It's got kind of two pieces there. Here. Two pieces. That's ridiculous. Never seen anything like that on any roll of duct tape ever. I don't know. I've seen some pretty old, old rolls of duct tape too. This is only a year old. Not sure what's going on there. I, st I actually did show one of those rolls and it was brand new. Okay, let's get into this. I'm sure you guys are wondering. But anyway, yeah, that's what that's all about is covering up the logo. Um, I've got another one actually inside of here covering something else up. Okay, so in here, uh, there's actually, it's probably going to be hard to see. Let's see if we can shine a light in there. You've got two pockets. All right, you can see I've got some cabling going on in there. Um, oh, this is actually something I recently added. Remember when I did my unboxing of the iPad USB power adapter? Well, now that I have that one, but I already had this one, this one here is a bit more uh, portable. I, I now actually keep this in my laptop bag. I actually did use this um, two days ago. Needed to charge my iPod. It was getting really low. Um, I started playing. We had a fire drill that day, and I was playing Angry Birds during the fire drill. And, uh, you know, Angry Birds is a huge drain on the battery. And I was just playing that, you know, during class transitions. I played a lot during lunch. I was like, oh, I can't stop playing this. Of course, I didn't play it during class. That would be bad. But it was just, uh, I just had to play it. Ah. So this thing actually came in handy. I had I charged it up during uh, third and fourth block, so that's that. And I also keep a, a cable in there, otherwise it'd be useless. So that's that. Also, this would be good to loan somebody if they're complaining that their iPod died. And they, oh, I have a charger on me. Here, use this. Um, I actually do still. I am still not as not as much, but I do want to get another one of those for in my backpack, and uh, maybe even a third for a spare, or you know to take I don't know for a spare or something like an extra one for home or something like that so oh I haven't checked everything in here alright so as I was saying there's two pockets in here as you can see they're separated right there um, and uh, in this pocket right here on the on the right pocket I keep the uh, power brick this thing is insanely insanely thin you might have this is actually the tip here has been in several of my videos the tip actually glows blue this ring right here glows blue when it's plugged in but I might have to show you that here in a bit but look at how thin this is. But let me unravel it here. I, it's got this tradition. It's a Dell laptop, so it's a Dell power brick. It's got this thing going on right here. Uh, this is a code right here. You won't normally find this code. This is actually uh, to. Um, this is what the school tracks. Um, they use this to track it down. If it gets stolen and sold in a pawn pawn shop, they will recognize that code and they'll tell the school that they have it. All right. So excellent theft protection there. Uh, but look how ridiculously thin that is. That's the thinnest power brick I've ever seen. And I've, I've seen thin power bricks, too. That's thin. Um, one thing, though, this gets hot. This gets really hot when it's charging the laptop. So if you're interested in the Latitude series, which I, yeah, I have in here, a Latitude, warning, the power bricks get very hot. Very hot. I'm, 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 ugh. You can probably use those as a, ugh, ugh, they get hot. Um, if I use it at school, sometimes it gets actually so hot it's actually uncomfortable to handle. I mean, I can still handle it. It's just you know, it's at the ver at the bird at the very. It's very. It's like right. 
that much away from being uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So that's it. There's nothing else in that pocket. See in there? Maybe. Nothing else. There's a tag. For, uh, tells you that it's 100% nylon, which is synthetic, I believe, actually. I think all nylon's synthetic. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And in here, we have got some extra goodies. We've got, first of all, pull that out slowly. You'll soon see why. We've got the, uh, cord. This plugs into the brick, which I will demonstrate right now. So this will simply plug into the brick. Right there. And then this, or this end, goes in the wall. Excellent feature about this, it has a ground wire, so that's just a nice little reassuring safety bonus there. And when I plug it in, watch the, uh, watch the end here. Is that, alright. Boom. You see that? Isn't that awesome? My first impressions on that, when I, you know, I wasn't, obviously I wasn't the first to get the laptop issued to me, but when I saw that, when I saw someone charge on I, oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's like, it glows. I mean, that's awesome, isn't it? Yes. Actually, something I do want to ask a question about. All the teachers, their power bricks are thicker. All right, their power bricks are thicker, but the light around the, the um, thing here isn't as consistent. It isn't a, it's a little bit more transparent, I guess. It's, uh, it's not as consistent. Like, they got thicker power bricks and stuff. I guess, you know what it is? It's because they get the docks. They get the docks. We didn't get any docks, obviously, but the docks are actually pretty nice. They've got some nifty little bells and whistles on them. All right, coming back in here, we've got a mouse. All right, and we also have, hopefully we have, the receiver. Um, this is actually a desktop mouse, so it doesn't have, oh, you know, I don't know where the receiver went. This is a desktop mouse, so because of that, they kind of expect you to plug the receiver into the computer semi-permanently. You, like, you'll never take it out to it. There, it was hiding in the back. Um, I should actually take this out, too. Um, this is the receiver. This fell out on me Tuesday. Um, was the last time I was at school? Um, it fell out on me while I was packing this up to go to school. I, I just didn't notice it. It just fell out. I was putting the cabling away, and it fell out. And I didn't have a mouse. I had to use the trackpad, which is not very, it's not a very reliable trackpad. But, um, I had to use, I just had to use that. I, I, I bought a mouse because I prefer this method of actually operating it, but I'm perfectly fine with using a trackpad if it's my only option. I actually, again, I don't, I don't use this at home. I use this at school. When I'm at home and I'm using this laptop, I'll use the trackpad. Why? Because it's convenient. It's right there and it takes up very little space. So, but when I'm at school, I want to be able to use the mouse because it's a lot easier to use and I can be more, um, precise in doing stuff. So, that's that. But this actually, I did... It, it just fell out in my room. I saw it. Uh, it was just sort of sitting out there in the open. I, I just never noticed it fell out, falling out. So that's a bit of a problem. There's nowhere in here to store the uh, store. It, not even in the battery compartment here. Um, nice thing about this mouse. You know, some people might think, oh, what's the point of that? I just bought this because I thought this technology was cool. See this little switch on here? You guys have to forgive me. This is a long video, but uh, still, you see this little switch down here? Right now, this is for the click wheel, or the scroll wheel. Here's that noise it's making. But if I slide this, now you hear that. Oh yeah, look at that. Sorry, I the camera there. See that it spins quite fast. Um, you can see there's a bit of a uh, texturing on the front there. So that's how that works. Um, excellent little feature there kind of useless, but sometimes I think there's actually been one or two. Google Images, the new Google Images, this is very handy. If you want to go ahead and have all the results loaded right away, what you can do, you can turn this on, and when you get the images loaded, just flick down real fast. It'll fly to the bottom, then it'll give you the show more images. You click that button, then it'll just fly down through the rest of them, and it'll load them all. Then you can go through and look at them without waiting for them to load, which that's that was what I used it for a lot when I needed to use Google Images a lot. So that's, that's that. Um, that's all that's in this pocket. There's nothing else. So that is sort of a nice pocket there. I'm actually going to leave the uh, power brick out. When I'm at home, this does this does not go in the, the bag. I only put it in there for sakes of this video. So Let's put that back in. And is there anything else that I need to put in? I don't think so. I think that's it. Okay, zip this up. And now let's get into the goodie part. There is yet another pocket.